Hi, I'm Luke Hagforce with Hennessy International, and today we're going to go through the operation and maintenance of the GX DTC80. We're going to start with the loading and unloading of the machine, check out the engine bay, cover the mast, and then get inside the cab before walking you through a simple work cycle. Now we're going to talk about loading and unloading of the equipment. First, you're going to put on your seat belt and activate all the controls. Next, we raise the mast and put it in the correct position for loading. It's important that the angle is about 20 degrees. Once the mast is in position, you can begin tracking the machine onto the trailer. Be extremely careful and attentive when driving the machine onto the trailer. Once the machine is in position on the trailer, you can lower the mast. When unloading the machine, you're going to be driving backwards while in the original transport position. It's extremely careful to do this slowly and cautiously. Once you've driven off the trailer, you can move the machine into position and start drilling. Inside this compartment, we've got the hydraulic oil level. We want to make sure that the fluid is at an acceptable level. In addition, we've got all the fluid filters inside this compartment. On the way up to the top compartment on the machine, you'll see that there's the DEF intake, the fuel intake, and the hydraulic oil intake. Using the latches on top, you can open the top compartment. Inside is where you'll find the dipstick. One of the most important things to do before using the machine is to make sure that all the emergency stop buttons are out and not activated. If any of the emergency stop buttons are activated, the machine will not start. First up, we have the main winch down hole limit switch. Up on top of the jib is the anti two block switch. First grease point that we're gonna check is the rotary bearing. It's important to grease this once a day to ensure proper use. Next up, we want to check the grease points on all the articulation joints. It's important to grease these every eight hours or even more often if necessary. Next up, we head to the top of the mast to check the grease point on the Kelly swivel as long as the upper slewing ring. These need to be greased every day. Finally, in this compartment, we've got the air filter and the night switch. You want to make sure that the night switch is on in order to power on the machine inside the cab. Anytime that the operator is in the cab, it's important that you must wear the seatbelt. First thing we're going to do when we get in the cab is make sure that the emergency stop button is not activated. Then we're going to turn on the key. Next, wait for the computer to load up. Once ready, we can activate the lever. Next, we're going to hit the flashing lock button. To align the mast, first we're going to hold the actuator button while using the button and joystick on the gray box to adjust the fore and aft of the machine and the lowering and raising of the arm. When operating the machine, you need to ensure that the mast is perfectly vertical. If the mast isn't aligned, you can use the automatic alignment feature inside the cab. After pressing the button, it'll adjust the mast so that it's perfectly vertical. When getting ready to drill, we're going to use the left joystick and point it forward to pay out the main winch and lower the Kelly bar. Putting the right joystick to the left will engage the rotary in drilling mode. To the right hand side will engage the drill in spin off mode. Putting the joystick forward will crowd down, while pulling back will crowd up. Next, we're going to go over the functions on the gray box between the right joystick and the computer. The first button activates the tracks. When this button is activated, you will hear an alarm. Next, we switch between the first and second drilling speeds. 
The next button switches between the low spin-off and the high spin-off speed. Finally, this button switches the right joystick from crowd control to auxiliary winch control. You will hear an alarm when this button is activated. The depth meter shows the X and Y axis for positioning of the mast. In addition, there's also a depth meter. To clear the depth meter, you press the top right hand button on the left joystick. To begin drilling with the machine, first we're going to lower the Kelly bar so that the auger is touching the ground. When the auger is on the ground, we'll reset the depth meter, and then using the right joystick turning to the left, we'll begin drilling. Once the auger is full of material, we'll go back one full turn to unlock the bar, and then we can lift the auger out of the hole. Once out of the hole, we'll spin off to the side, and then use the spin off feature to get rid of the dirt. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to call us at 800 656 6766 or you can visit our website at www.hennessyinternational.com. Thanks for watching and good luck.